Hello everybody, my name is Ida Mae. Can everyone say hi Ida Mae? Hi Ida Mae. It is so nice to be here with everybody today. I just wanted to welcome you to Paint with Faith. Paint with Faith is a mobile motivational paint company and we specialize in motivating you through the arts. Okay, so before we get started, I want you to repeat after me. Say, if I believe, if I, believe I, can achieve. I can achieve. All right, I believe in you. We're going to paint on our canvas. We call this a canvas because we believe you can do it. All right. So, everybody find your canvas and let's get started. When I wake up in the morning, I like to yawn really big and then I drink a glass of water. So, our canvas has been sleeping for some time now. Let's wake our canvas up with a little bit of water. So, we're going to take some water and just paint our canvas. My, cam my water is a little bit of dirty, but yours is probably a little bit cleaner than mine, and that's okay. At Paint with Faith, we believe there's no mistakes in art. So we're going to paint our canvas. Um, you can choose gray or yellow. I'm going to choose, hmm, gray. So if you don't want to do gray, you can always do yellow. So you're going to mix black with a little bit of white. If you're choosing yellow, you can mix yellow with a little bit of white. And that's going to make a light gray. And we're just going to paint our background with a light gray. At Paint with Faith, we believe you can do all things. And your life is a blank canvas. And all you need is a little bit of faith to do all the things that you want to do in your life. So we're going to start off this painting with a nice beautiful gray. You can also use a nice bright yellow. Whichever one you like. Wow, that looks great. And you're going to paint all the way to the bottom. Today we're going to be doing a piece of pop art. Scholars debate about whether the artist Tybold, Wayne Tybold, I think I'm saying his name right. You spell it T-H-I-E-B-A-U-D. Tybold, Tybold. Wayne Tybode, Tabo, Wayne Tabo. He is an artist who specialized in painting ice cream and other bakery treats. And today we're going to be painting a Wayne Tabo ice cream cone. When you get about halfway, I want you to take your paintbrush, dip it in a little black paint, and add that to, and mix in a little yellow. When you're mixing your yellow, don't mix it inside the yellow. Mix it on your mixing plate. Mix it on your mixing plate. Maybe you have a white plate on the side and add yellow and black. yellow and black and we're going to paint the bottom half of our canvas with yellow and black and let that yellow and black you can start at the bottom and bring it all the way up 
to the top. When your yellow meet and black meets your light yellow or your gray, just go ahead and mix the two together. We're going to wait on our friends. You're doing a great job. Take your time. There's no need to rush. Take your brush and just run it from left to right. Some scholars debate if Wayne Tebow was a pop artist or a realist artist. One of the reasons why he was considered a realist artist is because his ice cream and bakery treats were not as bright and bold as Roy, Lips Roy Lichtenstein and artists like Andy Warhol. His paintings use more realistic hues and color blends, much like the dark yellow that we're blending right now. He used more natural, realistic colors to paint his pastries. Everybody's doing so great. Thank you for waiting on um, our friends. When you're all done, take your paintbrush and let's rinse it out. You're going to take your paintbrush and squeeze it all the water out. As you can see, my paintbrush is free of paint and water. You can kind of hold it like this when you're done. And you shouldn't have any paint on your hands because your paintbrush is all clean. Now we're going to mix the colors for our ice cream cone. We're going to make the color brown. To make the color brown, you can mix, hmm, I like to mix red and green. Let's try that. Red and some green. When you mix the brown, don't paint yet. Just mix the brown with red and green. Red and green mixed together makes brown. Let's take our brown and add a little bit of white paint. Make sure you mix it on your mixing palette. I'm going to add a little bit more red to my brown mixture so that the brown is a little bit more earthy. Red, green, and a little bit of white makes brown. Now that you have your brown color, let's make the, the a V shape. I'm going to start with my V shape about halfway through the canvas, overlapping my horizon line. My paint is still a little bit wet, but that's quite all right. Lucky for us, brown is the presence of all colors. So mixing this paint together 
we're still getting a shade of brown. Okay, now that we have a V shape with our color brown, we're going to create a lighter brown. So take the color white and add white to your brown so that you can get one nice light color brown and follow directions and just mix white with your brown and now you're going to make one line across the center and that is going to be the bottom of your ice cream cone. You can kind of make a C-colored shape because we know that the center of an ice cream cone is kind of is circular. So this would be almost like a little bit of an arc or a smiley face to kind of give it an arc. So now we paint it our ice cream cone. So now we're going to think about how many ice cream scoops we're going to add to our ice cream. We're going to add one, two, and then one, the third ice cream scoop is going to be here like it fell on the ground or fell on the table. So we're going to add a total of three ice cream scoops. So let's think of all the different flavors that ice cream we can have. My first flavor is going to be hmm blueberry blueberry ice cream is probably the color blue right so to make blueberry ice cream we're gonna take the color blue and mix it with a little bit of white paint and we're gonna add our first scoop of ice cream so you're gonna make a round shape And of course, we know ice cream is fluffy and uneven at the bottom. So let's give this ice cream a few scoops that come out into the cone. So we're just going to put a little bit of a scalloped edge of our ice cream coming out into the cone. With each step, it's really important that we create a tint. So to create a tint, we're going to add mixed white. So take your white paint and add a little bit to your light blue on your mixing plate. Now with that tint color, we're going to add a little bit to each scallop just to give it a bright little touch of color.
and you can mix some of those colors together. I'm going to put a little dot coming down with the ice cream because ice cream is a little bit flowy. Okie dokie. What should be our second flavor? Strawberry. Yum. Let's make a strawberry scoop. Mixing the color. Now we're going to add red and white. And red and white makes pink. And this will be our second color for our ice cream. So I'm going to add another scoop on top. Yummy. This does make me want like a strawberry milkshake. And I'm going to add a little bit of a scalloped edge. And it's okay if the paint mixes this together. Right there on the edge. So now what we want to do is add a little bit of white to our pink. And this is going to create a nice bright pink, a pale pink. And we're going to add those bright colors to just to the tips. And on the top too. Okay, that's a nice, bright, fluffy piece of ice cream right there. Yummy. Mmm, what's another flavor of ice cream? What about lemon? Yum, lemon is delicious. So let's rinse our brush and create a yellow ice cream scoop. Now we're going to squeeze our brush. And we're going to put one great big round scoop that fell on the ground over here. It's almost a circle with a flat bottom. And we're going to create a scalloped edge for that nice, scoopy ice cream look. Okay. using your yellow paint you can dip your paintbrush into the water and add it to some yellow paint until it, it's the consistency of ink and make it a little bit watery and then take your brush and tap it a little bit tap 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 we can make some paint splatters. So it kind of looks like it made a big splat when it fell. So it's ice cream everywhere. 
So now it's time to add some details to our painting. We're going to make it rain sprinkles everywhere. So let's do the sprinkles the same color as our ice cream. So you're going to rinse out your brush. And we're going to take our blue paint, which we use blue. And white. And sprinkles are like little dashes, but they're also kind of like rectangles long rectangles so you can kind of see how I made this sprinkle so you're gonna make long almost like rectangles and don't forget to add some of those sprinkles onto your yellow ice cream long rectangular shapes. We're going to add some to the top of our pink. And coming from the sky. Maybe even add some over here to the other side. What other color sprinkles do we have? Let's do pink sprinkles. So to make pink, we mix red and white. That's right. My, my pink isn't that bright because I forgot to clean out my brush. I was being too excited. Let me wait and clean out my brush. Let's try to clean out our brush between each step to keep our colors nice and vibrant. Remember to squeeze your brush and make sure it's nice and clean. Now, let's mix red and white to make pink. And we're going to make long sprinkles. It's raining pink sprinkles now. And you want to make sure that your sprinkles are coming in different directions. Don't forget, up and down, left and right, and even diagonal. If it's raining, do you think that do you think that it can rain they can overlap each other? I think so. So some of your sprinkles can even overlap the blue ones. That is a heavy, heavy sprinkles rainstorm. What about we can create some white sprinkles? If you did gray as your background, I think that white, um, white, yellow would be a better. But if you did yellow is your background maybe white would show up better than yellow but if you have a background of gray I would suggest using yellow so for gray background we're going to use yellow and for white background you can use white let's not forget to add sprinkles to our top of our pink and even our blue I 
forgot to add any um pink sprinkles to my blue. Maybe I can go back and add some after I'm finished with my yellow. Remember to overlap your sprinkles so it can look like a downpour. Remember? Okay. It's raining. Yellow sprinkles, blue sprinkles, and pink sprinkles. It's a it's a sprinkle downpour. Okie dokie. So now that we've finished with all of our sprinkles, let's add, hmm, oh, I was going to add um, the pink. Pink is red and white. Add those to the blue. Oh, that's so awesome. That looks great. And remember, you can overlap your sprinkles as well. Overlapping them helps them appear, look like they are appearing naturally. Okie dokie. I'm going to clean out my brush so that I can do the next step. The next step is we're going to add highlights to the ice cream and our sprinkle and even some stripes to our ice cream cone. To add stripes to your ice cream cone, we're going to use a dark gray. Making dark gray is simple. You simply use white and black. This time you're going to use a little bit more black so you get a nice deep gray color but not quite not quite um, black. So you're going to add a little bit more white. This is my dark gray color. Now we're going to create diagonal lines going from north not quite south, but more to the west. So diagonal marks. If your lines are like mine and they feel a little spotchy, add a little water to your mixture. This will help the lines be a little bit more ink-like. But it's quite all right if your lines are a little bit hatchy. Now we're going to create line, diagonal lines going in the opposite direction. Now we have something that looks similar to a waffle cone. Let's add X's to our cone base.
when you're done adding your diagonal marks and your excess, you can rinse out your brush. Now we're going to add all of the white to make our painting pop. When rinsing your brush, be sure to clean out the tip with a little bit of water and squeeze all the water out. This is the end of with the brush. We're going to use this end of the paintbrush. It helps create nice sharp dots. We're going to take the end of our brush dip it in some white paint and on each and every sprinkle you're going to put one dot on the end preferably the end that's closer to the sky so each little tiny sprinkle is going to take one dot I know you can do it. Go for it. This is going to make each sprinkle sparkle. Sparkling sprinkles. Raining from the sky. Okay. Did you get all of your sprinkles? I think I got all of mine. I should have counted them. <laughs> now with the other end of your brush, make sure you wipe off this end. You're going to take the tip and add a smiley face to each of the tips of your ice cream scallop. So this ice cream has one, two, three, four, five, six scallops. So right there on each scallop, I'm just going to take some white paint and add a little smiley face and maybe one at the top. So the one at the top is just a little swipe and then a, a little smile. So let me show you how to do that. You'll do the top part on the pink and on the blue you'll just do a little bottom one. Just like that. And on your the pink I'll do the same. If your paint is still wet, you can just reapply the white paint to add a nice thick swipe. And we'll wait on our friends to get to this step. If you're all finished and you enjoyed creating those white dots, you can create some more just little white dots. Almost looks like snow. This is what happens when it's raining sprinkles. It's raining sprinkles and sugar. And everything else. We didn't add any sprinkles over the the ice cream cone, but maybe we can add some of these little sugar sugar flick flurries. 
We're going to call it sugar flurries. This is a sugar rush. And what is ice cream without a cherry on top? Let's make a bright pink cherry. So we're going to take red and a little white. We're going to keep it closer to red so that it kind of identifies a cherry. So right on top of your yellow make a big red circle it's okay if you cover up any sprinkles I added a little bit of pink a little white to my red to make it a little bit of pink If you want to add two cherries, you can. Okay, we have, I'm going to add one big cherry. And the stem of the cherry is going to be in dark gray. Can anybody tell me how to make dark gray? Black with a little bit of white. And I'm going to start in the middle of the cherry and come out from the middle and that is the cherry stem. You're going to start in the middle of the red dot and come out. And you know we have to add a tiny little ding to the cherry. Okay. This looks like a yummy ice cream and this one failed, so. <laughs> Maybe the motto to the story is if you have ice cream and it falls, it's still raining sprinkles. So I hope you learn to have a good day, even if everything's not going your way. I hope you still look up and it's raining sprinkles. Okie dokie. So, as we complete our painting today and we wait on our friends, if you're all done, you can hold your painting up like this and let's see how it turned out. It's raining sprinkles over here. Okay, can everyone repeat after me? say, I know I can paint what I want to paint. If I don't know the way, I can paint with faith. One more time. I know I can paint what I want to paint. If I don't know the way, I can paint with faith. Okay, I know I can. Paint what, I want to paint. paint what I want to paint. If I don't know the way, I can paint with faith. All right. And I'm going to leave the painting up here so everyone can see it. And hold your painting up so we can take a picture. This is the Paint with Faith family. We're a motivational painting company. We believe you can do all things. All you need in your life for your dreams and goals is just some motivation, some guidance, and some faith in yourself. Remember, your life is a canvas. Paint it with faith. I know I can. I know I can. Paint what I want to paint. Paint what I want to paint. If 
Thank everybody for coming to Paint With Faith. And my name is Ida May. And I will see you all at the next Paint With Faith class. Remember to stay positive and believe in yourself. Your life is a canvas. Paint it with faith. Have a good day.